Hi, this is Pinyo. Just wanted to share with you um, a spreadsheet that I use to keep track of my rental property. This will be useful if you're a new landlord and don't know what to do in, ter in terms of keeping uh, financial records. So uh, as a landlord, you want to keep track of all the expenses that you uh, spend on your rental property. So it could be supply. So like this one is supply for a smoke alarm, uh, any kind of home maintenance service you pay to a handyman or a contractor. It could also be HOA related items like here is a registration for the swimming pool. Uh, here's another, uh, this is an HVAC service, uh, taxes you paid, HOA fees, uh, insurance you pay, property taxes. So you want to keep track of all items. You know, it's just a simple list, date, uh, who you paying to, how much you paid. Also record the rental income that you get for your rental property. And at the end of the year, at the end of the year, you get, um, you put together a summary, something like this. How much rent you receive uh, in total. Uh, if you were in 2020, you apply for EIDL advance, you could put that there as well. It does not count as an income. So with the new law, it does not count. Uh, mortgage interest you paid, uh, you can double check the amount you paid on the transaction page. Uh, you can be getting a statement from the mortgage company also showing how much you paid. Same thing with property tax, you can check against your transaction, but mortgage company will send you a statement confirming the amount. Uh, then you tally up all the other items, repair and maintenance, HOA fee, home insurance, any kind of advertising, either you pay to a website or to a real estate agent, supplies, equipment. Uh, there's also a big item called depreciations. Uh, this one I would advise you to ask your tax uh, advisor, your CPA guys to help you calculate depreciations. You should also keep track of this over the life of the property. And everything will add up to your total expense. So depreciation is not a real expense, but uh, it adds up for tax purpose. So in this case, in our example, the profit for tax purpose is $33. But without depreciation, this property actually has a profit of about $7,400, uh, Then you take all this at the end of the year, give it to your tax advisor, they'll put it onto Schedule E, and this is how you keep track of your rental property finances and prepare it for your tax advisor.